All right, so let's open it up and see what we got. Now you'll find the screws for this actually on the bottom. You can't see them because they're covered in this rubber shit. So you gotta take them off. They'd be stickier than my ones because I already take them off. I took them off before, but I didn't open it. And you gotta get a Phillips screw screwdriver. Sorry. And open them up. As you can see, switch there on the main board with the LEDs for when you're recording. I'm just going to take that out if I can while recording. i be careful not to touch anything else. And I'll put you back recording. What I'm going to try to do is install a PC fan like I've seen on YouTube. I'll try to do that. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but sure, I'm going to try it anyway. Okay guys, so what I've done is I have stripped the wires out of this. Doubt you can see that, but stripped the wires and then put them into a plug that I'm going to have as a plug for the wall and I'm going to put them, put it basically just on top like that gonna, right now I'm going to cut out a hole in my in the top of my PVR dead center first one's what happens why not well that was a fail that's okay I need to press harder From that, I got that it was pretty fucking thick, to be honest. All right. Okay, update. I've gotten most of the outside done. I have to cut around it then, and sorry, I have to cut around it then, and it should be 
pretty much I haven't gone outside the lines yet. So that should be alright. It's fucking Hoover today, motherfucker. Sorry if you can't see and I'm getting in the way. It's just I kinda want this to be alright job. Alright, so I cut out all of the, all around the, I didn't cut it out, put holes all around the edge of the, or all inside the edge of the circle that my fan was going to go through, so now I'm just going to cut it out and hopefully get a little closer to the actual circle I have made. Um, as you can obviously already tell, I don't have the greatest equipment, so I just use what I have, I suppose. because there's still a quite a long way to go I can't actually at the well not that long I suppose but there's a good uh, give or take two millimeters around the edges of this so I'm just going to try to flatten it out as much as I can with this taking all these bits off it And then I'll be back to show you when I have a full circle done. Alright guys, so this is almost finished, I think. I have the back on the LED still in it. I'm going to have to cable tie these or something or pull them down a bit more or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, but... Something's gonna have to be done about these getting caught up up in here. I see that as a problem. I have this little hole made out over here. If you can see that. For these wires to come through from the outside. I apologize for not recording some bits and recording other bits. Basically what I did, you've seen most of what I did with this. I just did circles through it on the outside and then I got that and sanded the outside for I'd say about an hour and a half <laughs> I didn't have anything else to be doing right put this through we will fuck it up the biggest thing I think you need to make sure of when you're doing this is that this side's pointing in the way, like up. Because otherwise the air you'll be pulling air out of it. And that's not great, I don't think. You know, put a hole in here, being careful not to touch this. I don't know what it that even is, but it's only fucking hard not to touch it. Because it's right beside it. Alright, so I'm just gonna have a block. So I don't mess up my table. Okay, so that's complete. Let's see how it worked. Perfectly, actually. Got it right in the groove here. You can't see. Turn back on my lamp. Didn't do shit. Alright, 
I pull this melt plastic off. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't want to mess around too much beside this circuit board, to be honest. That wouldn't be very smart. Now the power supply here. I have the red marked with red tape for no reason, just to help me. Because that's a reason. Now I have this, and we have these red and black. Alright, so first I'm just going to take off these yellow wire. And I'm just going to snip it about. <clears throat> about. Put it down in there. About here. Um, I'll keep that just in case I want to use it as a computer fan again. Is that what I will, but you know? Options are always there. <clears throat> and now I'm going to connect them up, I suppose. So tape there and tape on the other side. So it can't move much. So it moves a bit obviously. Can move much. On this side Okay, so it's also useful to note that you might want to put this bit on before you wire it all up. Oh my god, okay. So I take all the all the tape off, take the wires out and put them back in. Don't want to have any problems, but sure. I'll know for next time. Alright guys, so this is the almost finished model. The wires in the fan are going down into there. And then from there they're going back out from this cable all the way along up until like I have it plugged in here and that's the PVR plug. The fan is going and the PVR is on. Um, I have it connected into my PlayStation which is on also. Uh, Alright, so come up here. What would normally happen is you would get I would um Press capture and it would record for say three minutes and then it would freeze. It would, and it would say the LEDs on the PVR would stay on and it just and this would this screen would freeze. Alright, so I'm just gonna start capturing now just to show you it works. That's capturing and the LEDs are on. And now you can see inside. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so I've recorded one, two, three, four, ten minute recordings straight. And it was just a menu, but there was no problems with it. So I'm thinking that I fixed it. All right guys, so I got the PVR and it's on top of my amazing PC, which I am using because, you know, got that, where is it? 256 MB RAM going. Yeah, so I have the PVR with the computer fan mounted. Still see the side of it. I haven't put a filter on it. I'm not too sure does it need a filter. You guys can comment that. If you've done this, have you broken your fan? At the moment I have it recording my Xbox with my netbook. And it works perfectly fine. I just wanted to this has been a few weeks after I built it. So 
just showing you that it all works. Did it say it? No, it doesn't. It's 1280, 720, 59.97. And it works perfectly. Uh, if I was giving advice to someone who's doing this, I'd say if you have the effort, put a fan on it. I don't. I won't be moving it much. I'll get. I'll be getting a new computer, and then it'll just sit there. That's all I'll be doing. So if I was moving it around, bringing it around places, I would definitely suggest putting um putting something over it over it to protect it. All right. Yep. Yeah, this is this video. For more things like this in the future. I suggest you subscribe. Give me your opinions on this in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.